Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about the sodium myth. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. You know, there's people that say that uh, sodium is the worst thing you can consume, but let's take a look at this. They've only done one study that shows any relationship between high blood pressure and consuming sodium, and it was called the DASH sodium study, but they failed to kind of omit, unless you read the study, they didn't tell you they also lowered the sugar in their diets, the glucose. So honestly, that's really what created the lower uh, blood pressure more than the salt, okay? So um, even a recent study that involved 6,000 people showed that there is no strong evidence in relationship between eating salt or sodium and increasing blood pressure. Now, why would that be? Simply because sodium is an essential mineral. What does that mean? It means you, it's necessary for survival. You can't live without sodium but you need to have it in the right amounts. We need about 1,000 milligrams a day. That's probably a quarter teaspoon a day of salt. But realize that salt is sodium chloride, not just sodium. So about half of that sodium chloride is sodium. Okay, so you need a little bit more salt than you do sodium. Um, so I'll show you what kind to get in a, in a second. But, but the point is that we need this sodium to regulate your heart your fluids. It acts like an electrolyte that allows the balance of fluid and it controls the volume of fluid through your body. So it works with other minerals to maintain that balance. So without that essential mineral, you have all sorts of problems with your muscle, your heart, your brain. Uh, you need that. Um, number two, um, I'm sorry, number three, low sodium in the blood. There's a condition of low sodium in the blood called hyponatremia. Now, what is that? That's just simply low sodium in the blood, and that's from drinking lots of water that people tell you to do and very little salt. So the doctor's like, don't eat salt, drink a lot of water. You're just flushing out the electrolyte. So you're gonna end up with a very low sodium in the blood, which you're setting yourself up for a lot of heart problems, swelling in the brain. Uh, you can, people died of hyponatremia. So that, you, if you have never seen the my water myth video, watch that because too much water is not not good, you wanna drink when you're thirsty. So how do you know if you need sodium? Well, do you crave salt? Then you need it, okay? Um, fluid retention. Now, if you have fluid retention in your legs or your fingers or your body, obviously there's, there's probably too much sodium in your body. But so instead of reducing sodium, it's much more important to raise the other electrolyte that sodium works with, and that's called potassium. We need about four times, a little more than four times the amount of potassium than we do sodium. Where do you get potassium? Vegetables. Do you eat enough vegetables? Probably not. Some people have two cups a day. You need actually seven to eight to nine cups to get the potassium to balance out the sodium. Because an average person consumes about 3,400 milligrams of sodium and only 1,000 milligrams of potassium. So their ratios are off. So they will get fluid retention in some period of time. And so what you don't want to do is you don't want to worry about lowering your salt. Just increase your potassium and don't have the hidden salts that a lot of people are exposed to. Uh, the MSG, monosodium glutamate from uh, fast food restaurants. Eating sugar depletes potassium and retains sodium. That's why you can gain a water, a pound of water uh, after consuming some sugar. So um, again, it's the junk food, it's the MSG that, that increases the sodium. Um, and by the way, you never um, want to consume one mineral by itself. You want to consume it in a complex like sea salt, okay, versus just taking sodium. All right, so now we have uh, we talked about fluid retention, low adrenal glands. If your adrenal glands are burnt out, you're not going to have the hormones. Specifically, there's a hormone called aldosterone. There's one called there's a bunch of them called mineral corticoids, which are hormones that regulate minerals, specifically salt and potassium. So what happens with adrenal is you lose salt. So you crave salt. Let's say at night you get home and you're burnt out, you're tired, and you're craving salt. So you consume sea salt. Then you probably want some sweet and some salt together because um, people that are low in minerals are also have low blood sugar issues. So they have glucose issues. So you're just, when you consume that, your energy starts coming up. Your cells are trying to demand it. But really, it's an adrenal situation. Okay, so what type of salt is the best? Himalayan salt is the best salt. Why? Because it's uh, salt from a mountaintop, which used to be an ocean a long time ago. It's the most pure, unpolluted 
sea salt. You don't want to get the sea salt that is in the current environment now because you're just getting a lot of sewage in there and a lot of chemicals. So get pink Himalayan salt. Uh, there is a uh, black Himalayan salt that you could get, which is high in sulfur. The only thing with that is it tastes like eggs, okay? And a lot of people don't like the taste. If you can stand it and put it on your eggs, that would be a much better salt. It's called black Himalayan salt because that sulfur is really good for the liver. It's good for a detoxifying um, mineral. It's good for a lot of skin conditions. But again, it has a bad odor to it. Um, some people can't do it. But think about what sulfur is in. It's in all the cruciferous. It's in uh, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage. It's all the sulfur type minerals. So definitely radishes that actually help detoxify the liver. So if you can stand it, go ahead and get it. If not, get the pink version. But go ahead and use that. Uh, and use it. Don't be afraid to use it. As long as you increase your potassium with your vegetables, you're totally okay. All right? I'll see you in the next video.